On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful Friday evening to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So as always, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going on in Jamaica. So in the evening my peeps, I have two really sad and heart-wrenching stories to share with Uno. One also involves a popular former media personnel in Jamaica. So my peeps, make we get into the meat of the matter and bring forth to you the first sad and heart-wrenching story. Now on your screen is a 29-year-old mother that goes by the name of Kelia Bryce. She's a bartender of a larger road address over there in Kingston 11. So this 29-year-old mother was on Tuesday caught up in the head and thrown from a moving motor vehicle. Can you imagine, my peeps? Whilst the perpetrators of the crime was trying to elude the police. So my peeps, let me give you a full rundown of what really took place with the 29-year-old mother, Kelia Bryce, and what led up to her meeting her demise in such a brutal and horrific manner. It is said that she left home that morning early to attend work and she stopped and went aboard a motor vehicle. And about 10.15 a.m., the police signaled the driver of that motor vehicle, which is a Toyota Probox motor vehicle, to stop in the intersection of Upper King Street and North Parade in downtown Kingston. It is said that the driver of the said motor vehicle disappeared, resulted in a high-speed police chase ending in the Franklin Town police area. The police stated that Kelia Bryce's body was seen tumbling from the right rear door of the moving motor vehicle with one shot to her head. The car sped away in the area and Bryce was however taken to the hospital by the police where sadly she was pronounced you know what. The police then went to the residence where Bryce's family resides and gave them the grisly details of what had happened to their family member. It is said by the family members that Bryce was planning on leaving work early that day to reach home in time for her daughter's sixth birthday party. Now my peeps, how sad can that be? A child losing her mother in such an horrific manner on her birthday. Every single birthday after this, that child will have to relive this horrific way that her mother lost her life. Now, the mother of Kelia Bryce, Kareen Davis, stated that she felt lost. The 46-year-old mother of Kelia Bryce stated that she was the second of seven children and she was a fun-loving individual who was easy to get along with and a mother who went above and beyond for her own children. Her sister also stated that she has three kids and she's the one that takes care of all three kids as their fathers are very much absent. She also ensured that her mother was alright and wanted for nothing. She also stated that the old dirty criminal elements them, if I saw them want to live, them just slap with people and them just no business and just carry on like nothing at all, no happen. I can just imagine the grief that this family is presently going through. But this is the state of our country right now. And it is full time that us, the regular members of Jan Public, wake up before it comes knocking on our doors. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, make a continue. So my peeps, on your screen is a former Jamaican media personnel and journalist. Maya Chung. 
she definitely experienced one of the worst experiences anyone can ever imagine. She was abducted and robbed at gunpoint. She was definitely fearful that her life would have been taken. Now, two weeks after she was robbed and held at hostage at gunpoint, former journalist Maya Chung stated that she was feeling lucky to be alive even as she battles with the mental anguish from the incident which took place on September 28 in Portmore, St. Catherine. She recalled that two male abductors moved from various locations across two parishes, traveling in a Toyota Probox motor car, which was driven by another man. The robbers reportedly took several of Chung's personal effects, to include her driver's license, cell phones, and bank cards. After demanding her PIN, Chung stated that the robbers drove around the corporate area and St. Catherine in search of an ATM machine, which was not too crowded. She stated after emptying her bank account and her purse, the robbers gave her a thousand dollars when they dropped her off somewhere so that she would not be left stranded. Chung, who was obviously still traumatized by the whole ordeal that she went through, stated that she was at the Portmore Mall conducting business when one of the men quietly approached her, stuck a gun in her side and forced her into the waiting motor car. Chung also stated, and I quote, They said to me, if I cooperate with them, I would survive. Chung also stated that when I was in these people's company, all I could think about is my kids. She also stated that if they wanted our shirt, if they wanted a teeth, even if they wanted her eyeballs, they could have it. End quote. Chung also stated, and I quote, Me look in at the two gun mouth and say, God, tell me what me fi do. I'm also paradigmed right now, she stated. When you think about how many other women experience this, I mean, you are talking to me because God saved me. Because it was three men, two guns and the Holy Spirit, she stated. End quote. Chung said that the robbers were polite and also sought to comfort her when she appeared to be breaking down emotionally. She also stated, and I quote, them hush me and tell me say, everything is going to be okay. And when they recognized that I was not stupid enough to challenge three people, two with guns, they started to become less hostile. I did not realize that I was going to live until they actually let me off because even though it started out as a robbery, it could have easily escalated into a rape, a robbery and also my life being taken. You don't know because these are people you don't know from nowhere. So basically, anything could have happened. Chung also stated that she has been struggling to process the incident, which was reported to the Greater Portmore Police on that same day. She also stated, and I quote, I can't eat, I can't sleep, and what comes to mind is a citizen who has always tried her very best to help was held up in her own country by her own countrymen. For two hours, I was there not knowing if they were going to take my life. It was terrible. I don't know if I will ever recover from this incident, said Chung. End quote. Commanding Officer for the St. Andrew South Police Division, Senior Superintendent Kirk Ricketts, stated that the circumstances reported to him were similar cases brought to his attention. He also stated that in some cases, robbers picked up more than one victim and even took victims to homes where they were kept overnight. He also stated, and I quote, Always be aware of your surroundings. Always have a family member know where you are going. Avoid robot taxis, which is very important. 
take what appears to be legitimate public transportation. And I say appears because some of these men are traveling around in vehicles that have legitimate red plates attached to them. In the event that you are not sure, follow your guts and do not go in those taxis. He also stated that if you can take a picture of the motor vehicle and send it to a close family member which you are about to abort, please do so. But we all know some peeps, unless I want private taxi or charter. You now gonna have time if you go take picture I want car and send to your family before you go in there. By the time you stand up and take the picture that the vehicle is full and reach three miles in front of you already. Yeah man, we all know say I saw the thing said. Especially in a peak hour traffic when time people want to get to work or get home from work. So, boy, it just rough for members of John Public. That's all me I say. That's why I always I say to you, say, yo, look out on the corner, yeah, because the old dirty corner, boy, them always out there are lurks. Work with your guts. If your instincts tell you, say, something right, 99.9% .9 time time, something not right so my peeps safe travel upon the gravel remember to like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast on the spot news media yeah man